Hey everybody, it's Brad with the Big Family Homestead and today I have a very special treat for you. I am here with the one, the only, Prepsteader Bob. He is a licensed chickenometrist and we are talking chickens. I have been raising with my wife, my lovely bride, Krista, chickens for about eight years now and so that makes us not the uh, spring chicken, but we're definitely not experts either. Um, Prep Setter Bob here lives nearby and he heard my plight, my cry. Uh, my chickens are eating eggs and so we figured today uh, we would talk a little bit about chickens eating eggs, maybe even different ways to uh, have them have more production. So what do you say, brother? Well, first thing to remember is I'm not an expert either. An expert, expert. We always call, an expert <laughs> is just a has-been drip. Ah, yes. But uh, we've got quite a bit of experience over the last 30 plus years. I mean, we used to raise a couple hundred chickens for market uh, egg production and meat production, taking the farmer's market for a lot of years. So several things we need to look at to kind of help you guys out. Okay, so the first issue, the order of the day, is our chickens are eating eggs. And so I figure what we should do is just take you into the coop and show, it, show you what's going on because we've had this problem before. And um, we were able to sequester the hen who is, uh, and, and after a while, just a couple weeks, she went back to being fine and normal, but I think it's a lot more than just the one bird. All right, well, there, there's a couple things we need to look at, so let's go look at the birds, and then we'll narrow it down to some remote possibilities. Beautiful. All right, there's several things we want to look at first. First of all, looking at the coop itself, everything looks good and clean. Uh, chickens um, like things clean. Uh, the other thing I want to ask, this is a question for you. What kind of feed are you feeding them? We are feeding them layer feed. Layer feed. Yep, we get it from the Amish folks. All right, perfect. So it's not necessarily the feed. Now you guys have already stated in one of your videos that you understood that chickens were omnivores. The thing to remember is that even chickens like to eat chicken. Chicken nuggets are awesome. So there's some other things we need to look at. So let's go outside and look at the scratch yard outside. All right, looking at the scratch yard, one of the things I'm seeing is plenty of tall grass. The birds are all out enjoying it. They're not uh, being mean to each other. They're not chasing each other. And the other big thing is, is that you're providing all kinds of different types of food, which will help. Uh, I always tell people when you're dealing with your own chickens, one of the ways you can tell if your feed is varied enough is just how dark is the yolk. The darker the yolk, the better the feed is that you're feeding them. Okay, well, excuse me, I didn't mean to butt in on your video. <laughs> Uh, so the, the feed is good, uh, the, the coop is clean enough, I mean it's a chicken coop. It's chickens. The water's good, the feed's good, um, they've got plenty of area to scratch outside. They're not, uh, they're being communal so they're not really chasing, you know, you don't see a, 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 a head chicken that's really uh, picking on the other yeah, ones. Establishing yeah. a pecking order. So they all look happy. They all look good. So there's something else obvious that's just missing. Well, uh, I'm sorry. Did not mean to jump in there. Go ahead. We've tried and seen other uh, methods like people putting golf balls into the nesting area and that did not work for us. No, and it usually doesn't work uh, for the simple fact that uh, well, let me ask you, uh, how many chickens do you have? We have 24. You have 24. So you should be, how old are the chickens? They're, this is, they're just started laying about three months ago. Three months ago. So they should be 24 chickens. You should be getting 12 to 16 eggs every day. Absolutely. And these, this particular breed is supposed to give you about an egg every day and a half. Every day and a half. So it's yes. a 28-hour cycle Correct. for chickens. Yep. So, um, so there's something else that's going on that are making the chickens, how, how many eggs are you getting a day? 
Four. Four. Okay, you're losing an easy dozen. Yep. So they're eating them, chances are. You haven't seen any other animals coming in from outside? No. Not at all. No, just birds from time to time. All right. No obvious raccoons or skunks or things no, along that line? No, nope, none at all. No just, predators. We've been I'm, very blessed. <laughs> I'm not seeing any predator tracks or anything outside, so that all looks good. It's something else obvious. I think I see it. Oh? All right, usually chickens are great. They're not uh, necessarily cannibalistic, but sometimes they get bored. I mean, they're, they're really smart. I mean, you're not gonna see a chicken playing checkers or anything along that line. No, no chess wizards? No chess chickens, but uh, they have a tendency to get a little bit bored and they do things that come to them as second nature. I think here's part of the problem. <laughs> what happens is with the nesting box, when you leave it down on the ground, the chickens can see and get straight in. And if they can get straight into it, they're gonna sit there and eat the eggs if they're bored. Chickens don't like to be unstable. They, you know, if, if they can stand still and, 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 and eat and scratch, then they'll do whatever it takes to entertain them. But if you get this up to where it's slightly higher, then, you're, then the top of your chickens, what's gonna happen is they'll have to fly up into the nest. And when they do, they, they're slightly tilted forward, they won't eat. They won't eat or peck the eggs. So what they'll do is go forward, they'll go into the nest, turn around, sit down, and not bother the eggs. So, it, you know, you say that the chickens get bored easily. Should we just be providing them, you know, more entertainment options like, uh, you know, Sudoku or, they don't make an Xbox for chickens. <laughs> <laughs> so, okay, I guess what I'm hearing loud and clear and, and spoken with enough clarity that even I can hear it is penetrated through my ear bones into the head thinker. So we gotta get this thing up off the ground. Get it up uh, slightly higher than your tallest chicken and then we'll, what we'll do is watch for a week mm -hmm. and see if your egg count comes up. And if it comes up slightly, and you're not, you know, if you're still below that 16 to 18 eggs, then there's another option and we can talk about that a little bit later. Okay, um, just as a sidebar, uh, this was really, really important to us, to us and is really important to us. The reason why is in the past, everyone that we've chatted with says, okay, try this, this and that. And if you don't, you gotta, they need to be soup. And so I'm really excited about trying this out because these birds are all healthy and they're, they're I just don't wanna see them go bye-bye. No freezer camp yet. Yeah, you gotta outthink the chicken um, and use, uh, use its uh, natural abilities for and against itself. Uh, there's a couple different books out and we can talk about those later. Cool, so. well let's get this thing up off the ground. So we got the uh, the uh, nesting boxes mounted up, uh, and uh, you're saying we need to give this some time. Yeah, it takes about a week. You'll know you'll know in a day or two, but you'll see your egg count come up. Uh, biggest thing is like when the chicken comes up here. That's why these aren't big long platforms. They stand here. They're a little wobbly. They're able to go right on in, <laughs> and they'll get in, turn around, and uh, lay their eggs. The um, Biggest thing is just you have them out of balance. When you take a chicken and, and comfort it, it, it wants to be still, like this one here. She'll do anything I want her to because she's like, <laughs> Cue the crazy chicken. <laughs> <laughs> but she, he was being very polite earlier. <laughs> oh yeah, but, uh, but no, a lot of this stuff, I mean, we've learned by experience. Uh, there's some really great books on Amazon. <laughs> Uh, stories on uh, stories book on raising chickens is a good starter but my favorite uh, there's an author by dr. Temple Grandin on how to deal with farm animals and 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 um, how they react to people and and uh, and things that you can do with them uh, it's just there's a lot to learn in that book you know I, I read a story and I am not sure Oh, you can put her down. She's okay. done. She's she was done. I think she's. I think she's honestly nervous about me because I'm loud. Oh. <laughs> uh, but I read a story, and and it was in a newspaper article, kind of thing, that this gentleman who was a farmer actually had a chicken that he went to cut its head off to butcher it, and it stayed alive. Yes. And he would feed it through an eyedropper right down its neck formerly head yep. and it stayed alive for a couple years he took it around affairs and stuff is that that can't be 
That is a true story. That when he kept uh, went to cut the head, he he got the neck, missed it, but he missed part of the the main artery that feeds the blood to the brain, so the chicken was able to still be alive. It's kind of morbid, though. That is, I mean, <laughs> let the poor bird go for crying out loud. That's awful hard on your chicken nuggets. Ah, <laughs> uh, tenderized early. I a little right? bit. So but that, that's where most people. I don't ever butcher chickens until they're you know three years plus. Uh, you know, if you're having productivity issues, it's probably something simple, and you just you keep experimenting and trying uh, until until it works. And if this doesn't work, uh, we have another method that's guaranteed. Guaranteed. It's guaranteed. called it's called an axe and a, and a date with the freezer camp. No, it's an egg roll box. And if this well, I like egg rolls, not Chinese egg rolls. Oh, <laughs> I'll share but, them. Well, okay. <laughs> Um, I'll tell you what, we'll do this, and if it works, you can buy me an egg roll. I will buy you two. All right. Because you're a little, you know, we're, 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 we're plus-sized guys. I've been told I'm the largest person in the room. <laughs> but an egg roll box, we can make that uh, heavy over and, and cool. uh, make that in our shop and show people how to do that. Well, fingers crossed that this is going to work. I am super, super grateful that you came over here to check out our place and um, more anxious because I, I don't know if you guys are hearing this, but I'm hearing this loud and clear that there's a whole lot more information that's kind of bottlenecking in this video because I'm trying to keep it more focused on our issue and, and I would love to hear more about all of these tips and tricks. I, there's, there's plenty to discuss. Well then, it's a double dog dare. I owe him egg rolls and we'll say ice cream is on the house too, so. Hallelujah. Anyway, so I'm <laughs> Brad. Prepstetter Bob. And you guys have an amazing day. Cluck, cluck, my good man.